Good morning YouTubers. What I have on the bench today is an Oppo DV981 HD. This is a DVD player. It's an upscaling DVD player. It'll play uh, 480p, 720p and it will upscale to 1080i and 1080p. It will play um, CDs, DVDs, it says here all the things it will play. Uh, it's, a, it's a Super Audio CD, DivX, Kodak Picture CDs, Compact Discs, Dolby, it's Dolby's Digital, DTS, HDMI, um, I can't read what that says, and then DCI. So it's multi-regional, it'll play DVDs from America, the UK, most of Europe and further afield. There's not much it won't play actually, and this is why I bought it basically. And it upscales to if you have a high def TV and you'll get very good results from this and that's basically why I bought it. I bought a large screen high definition TV. I have a large DVD collection so I bought it to uh, give me the best picture possible. This will not play Blu-rays. Anyway the problem with it, as with many of these I'm sure on the market now, which is quite a few years old, um, is the door doesn't open and shut. Um, the reason being that the belt has gone. So I'm going to show you how to repair that. A lot of people have got so far with this repair and then they stop um, because basically they can't get the lid off. So the biggest obstacle to overcome is removing this lid. I know that sounds a bit strange. You think you just undo these screws and it will pop right off but it doesn't. So you will start by removing the screws at the back. The obvious ones are attached to the lip of the lid as it's folded over at the back here. And there's also two screws in the front. Don't forget those, the lid won't come up unless you remove those. So they're on the side, but in, at the front of the machine. Okay. So when you've done that, the lid will come up to about there and it doesn't want to pull out, you can't lift it any higher and this is where most people stop. So I'm going to see if I can get inside there and show you what's going on. So when you get inside this, you'll find a Christmas CD which needs to be removed and you'll see back there these four, two, three, four brackets that sort of lift up. It's um, it's been cast into this piece here, this long bit that goes across the top. And this is where the problem is, the lid is hooked behind it, uh, but it won't pull out because you can't lift the lift you can't lift the lid high enough to clear these four pieces. Um, because the plastic fascia is sitting on top of the lip. You can see back there how this drops down slightly and then goes forward. Um, and that slides under the plastic fascia. So in a sense what you have to do is to stretch the fascia upwards in order to get that out. And this is where most people stop because they don't want to do any damage. So um, what I'm doing here is I'm lifting slightly and pulling. All to do this with one hand. There goes the torch. Can we get it to the... There we go. And now you can see how it's freed itself. So that's the trick. And once you're inside, then we can continue to sort out how to change the belt. I contacted Oppo. Um, I believe they're in California. I got their information off the web. And I contacted them through email and explained that <coughs> I believe the belts had gone on the um, on the drawer, that the thing wouldn't open and close, and they asked me a number of questions to verify whether in fact it was the belt. Um, I already knew the answers to those questions because I'd done a previous video <coughs> where I took the drawer out and lubricated the entire drawer. I was trying to figure out what the problem was. I didn't at that time realise it was just the belts, but 
While I was uh, in here trying to sort it out, I decided to lubricate the drawer. At the end of that video, I put um, a small rubber band back on the drive to replace basically these. And these were what they sent me, by the way. These are the replacement belts that they sent to me from California. They sent them twice. Uh, the first time they sent them, they didn't arrive. And I, I waited about four weeks. And then I contacted them again and said I hadn't received them yet. And would they send me some more? which they did, and they got here within 10 days. So those are the replacement Oppo belts. They look a bit more, uh, they're, they're thicker, they look a bit more robust and durable than the rubber band that I replaced previously. Um, I did that just as an emergency measure because I wanted to use this for Christmas. As you can see, I still have the Christmas CD in there. So we're gonna get that out, and then I'm going to show you where the belt is and how you replace it. So the first thing is to plug this in. This is the European model which comes with this effectively, um, this is a, a German plug or a continental Europe plug and this strange adapter that we use. And then we can plug that in. Now the belt is right under this plate here. And you can't get to it with the drawer in this position and you can't get to it with the drawer fully extended. So the way to do this is to open the drawer, then turn the unit off. Now if you turn it off by the switch, it will just close again. If you turn it off by the on off button, it will close automatically. So that's no good. So you need to open it again. Oh, I've turned it off, sorry. Open it once more. Then turn it off by the power and then you can move this manually in and out as you need to at which point I suggest you unplug it just to be on the safe side. Now I'm going to turn this around and I'm going to move this half closed to about there and then I'm going to zoom in and show you where the belt is. I've turned this around so you can see inside here. I don't know how clear that is, but there's the belt. And it wraps around this wheel here. So there's a, a kind of wheel there and a small one there. Look at, that's on the motor that drives it. Now, this plate here has these little rubber buffers on the side that the lid rests upon, stops it from vibrating. And there are two screws. I've already taken one out, so you pull it to the side slightly and remove the screws. And that gives you a little bit more access. Uh, to get the <coughs> belts off, I would use a pair of tweezers, which I have here. Um, now you can take it off there and the big question is can you remove it from the other wheel apparently you can so that's it so you can see here the replacement belt is quite a bit larger than, than this rubber band it's also quite a bit thicker now to put them back we're going to hook this over the wheel here and then pull it over this wheel and that should be job done. A uh, little bit difficult for me at this angle because I can't really see what I'm doing. I don't want to get my head in the way of the camera but I'll see if I can just work it over the wheel. I thought I had it there for a second. Get it to lie in place. I think that might be it. Oops, nope. Okay, if this proves to be a bit difficult, then I'll have to move the camera. Give it one more shot. Problem is I can't quite see what I'm doing, so let's try this again. I see, okay. There's not a lot of room at the back. To get the belt down over the wheel, you've got to sort of squeeze it down there. 
Okay, I've got it done at the back. You might want to start there, make sure the, the belt is over the back of the wheel to start with, because that's the most difficult part to fit. And then bring it over there. So basically that's it, that's job done. Um, obviously we have to screw this back. Um, this goes with the metal part down. No, it doesn't. This goes with the metal part up and the rubber buffers up. So that went, that goes this way. Oops, there's the phone, excuse me. All right, I'm back again. So we've put our two screws back. Just move the little rubber bit out of the way. Hope that doesn't fall off. It's not still stuck on there just about. Oh dear, try not to do that. Alright, so there it is. Let's put the main power back on. I'll have to turn it round for that, excuse me. on. As you can see it shuts the drawer immediately. So we press the button here, the blue one. That opens, press it again to close it. I don't know if I mentioned but uh, Oppo didn't charge me for the belts, that was a free service. Now getting this back on is obviously fairly difficult. Um, you've got to sort of reverse process but you can lift the lid at a high angle and it will slot in behind here and when you drop it it's going to sort of rub off against these bits that stick up but as long as you keep pushing it forwards it will clamp into place there we go and then you put your screws back in so we'll start with the one in the center side Ordinarily this wouldn't be quite so difficult, it's just that I'm trying to give out the way so you can see what I'm doing. There we go. That's the Oppo DV981HD. It's a nice unit. It's been around for a few years now, but it's, uh, it's a good unit. And then normally what I would do is just wipe the top down with something like this, some kind of baby wipe, just to clean it. However, I've run out. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. And please subscribe. And a thumbs up if you learned something here today. Bye now.